Good morning, everybody. I am Dr. C. P. Bhavani, head of the Department of Chemistry. Respected guest, Dr. N. Mushafar Kani, Assistant Professor in Chemistry. Respected Secretary, Dr. Kumar O. Jain. Respected Management, Respected Principal, Dr. N. Sujata. Dear colleagues, attendees, and my dear friends, very good morning to all. It's make me a very happy to greet. Every one of you for this second day international virtual seminar on Chemistry 2023. I am deeply delighted to take this opportunity to introduce to main guest of today virtual seminar, Navid Dr. N. Musafar Kani, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Chemistry, Jamal Muhammad College, Tirchapalli in Tamil Nadu, India. A gratitude from MSS. Walk of B.Sc. Chemistry degree, Madurai Kamarajan University, M.Sc. M.Phil Ph.D. in Jamal Muhammad College, Baradasan University at Tiruchirappalli. He has published over six papers. He has over 14 years of teaching experience. He obtained two Indian patents and one international patent. He presented over 30 articles at national and international level, assisted by. 58 FTP. He received the Best Teacher Award and also Best Presenter Award for number of conferences in extension. Today presentation, webinar theme, importance of science in our daily life. Once again, all attendees cordially greet you all. We will now hear from Dr. N. Musafar Kani. Come on, let's go. Thank you, sir. Please proceed. Please proceed, sir. Yes. Thank you very much, madam, for your nice Thank you, intro. sir. All praise be to the creator. A respected head of the institution and the members of management committee of Sri Chandraburgu Chain College, Minjur. Beloved head of the Department of Chemistry and dear colleagues and dear students, a very pleasant morning, everyone. First and foremost, I thank God Almighty for having provided such an opportunity and his choicest blessings showered upon all of us in all walks of our life. I take this opportunity to thank members of management committee and the head of the institution and the head of the department of chemistry of Sri Chandra Prabhu Jain College, Minjur, for having another one chance to share my thoughts regarding science in the way of Five Days International Virtual Seminar on Chemistry 2023. Thank you very much, madam. I want to share Thank you. my thoughts regarding the importance of science in our daily life. Everything happening with a part of science. We know well, science is a systematic and logical study towards how the universe works. Science is a dynamic subject also. Science is one of the greatest blessings to the mankind. It is an essential element in our daily life. We cannot escape from the importance of science and its uses in our daily life. Every new technology really on science. Science and technology complement each other. Is it visible, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Science. Dr. APJ told regarding science, science is a beautiful gift to humanity. We should not distort it. 
science and technology and its innovation must drive our pursuit of more equitable and sustainable development it has played a major role in improving the quality of living the manner it's uh, connect all those type of uh, things regarding science it's interact with the technology this technology may apply in the society so it may show us a triangle nature science technology and the society science is very essential in our daily life we use science in our day to day life we wake up and use uh, uh, paste and the brush with both are given by science only we use science in cooking eating clothing etc everything the force the earth the plants and other objects and other subjects are studied in several field of science such as physics chemistry biology um, and then uh, mathematical science everything shall we imagine you our life without electricity if not then you must know that electricity is also given by science einstein told that all our science measured against reality it is primitive and childlike and yet it the most precious thing we have it's told by einstein some more examples uh, use of science in our daily life uh, we use familiarly we use cars two wheeler bicycles to go from one place to another place these all are happening from the invention of science we use um, deodorant soaps shampoo some other things this also happening from uh, science only uh, in our home we are using a much number of utensils particularly lpg gas and the stove etc these all are uh, happening from science only even the house is in which we live is a product of science only so that this type of a science may be divided into three different type of a category one is a physical science and another one is a life science and another one is a applied science this physical science consist with the physics chemistry astronomy and the earth science are the branches of physical science life science consist with the biology social science then applied science consist with the engineering healthcare these all are branches of sciences the science divided into two different part one is a empirical science and another one is a natural science we know that the hierarchy of the sciences uh, the atom it's uh, uh, relate with the chemistry and the physics the chemistry consists with the material properties chemical reactions the physics also consists with the particle physics thermodynamics then uh, the formal science uh, regarding the mathematics uh, the algebra computer science some other things also derived from the mathematics part then logical science philosophical informal symbolic after that uh, we, we should connect with the uh, life science the functional biology that means the physiology medicine cellular biology that is consist with the biochemistry and the genetics also then uh, we have another two type of uh, sciences like uh, social science and uh, physics the astronomy uh, regarding the planetary science cosmology then geoscience meteorology geology these type of uh, things happening from a uh, physics so that uh, we are completely adapting with the such a part of a science like uh, social science physics uh, life science um, chemistry and then mathematical science also we must know the importance of science science is involved in uh, cooking eating breathing driving playing uh, everything the fabric we are uh, wearing such a part of a fabric uh, it is also derived from uh, the textile chemistry uh, we we are taking a uh, much number of uh, things like uh, soap powder paste talcum powder oil 
we are applying in our hair is it or not everything happening from the science only without science surely we are not able to any part of things so we must know the importance of science elements in the human body in our body consist with the several number of elements if the type of elements if it is consist with a huge number it may create some more diseases if it is present a very lower level it is also create some more diseases so that's god's grace uh, he provided the exact part of uh, elements in our human body as a very beauty nature then uh, that type of health also connect with the science and our beauty also connect with the science the diagnostic test carried out in the laboratory the prognostic estimations medical prescriptions like uh, pills the vaccines and the antibiotic these all are plays a vital role in health monitoring and control of disease industries and the transports like uh, cloth mills lather factories petrochemical industries refineries to metal industries we are uh, uh, wearing such a part of uh, uh, jewels it is happening from the refineries part all use numerous fuels for power generation and the chemical products for processing their product and improve the quality and simultaneously produce pollution also but uh, you know that uh, one part of uh, things happening as a very beauty nature some other part of things also created such a part of a uh, pollution category then food security and agriculture it is one of the important parts of uh, parts from derived from a science also to restore the fertility of soil refrigeration um, for cold storage of vegetables and the raw meat uses a polyurethane so foam and the chemical properties of gases the preservatives in the packed of packaged food products it's happening from the polymeric material and cooking also uh, the chemistry explains uh, how food changes as we cook it how it rots how to preserve food how our body uses the food eats and how ingredients interact to make food then cleaning process also happening from this type of one uh, the cleaning process to help decide what cleaner is the best for dishes laundry ourselves and our home also we use chemistry when use bleaches and the disinfectants and even ordinary soap and water the medicine is one of the biggest part playing a biggest role in the society it is very need to understand basic chemistry so that we can understand how vitamins supplements and the drugs can help our hamas part of the importance of chemistry lies in developing and testing new medical treatments and the medicines part the finally science and technology telecommunications information technology and the space missions all bank all chemistry of semiconductor and the nanotubes environmental issues also chemistry is at the heart of environmental issues what makes one chemical nutrient and another chemical a pollutant how can we clean up the environment with the help of the green chemistry we use chemicals every day and they perform chemical reactions without thinking much about them chemistry is important because everything we do is chemistry even our body is made of chemicals chemical reactions occur when we breathe we eat and just sit the reading then all the parts of our things are connecting with the help of chemistry this chemistry is derived from a science category we know that Uh, we are uh, sewing like this type of a part like uh, alarm and then uh, pen tip and then uh, some other things also happening uh, the lenses then iron box we are working in the type of a part each and every part of a things happening in the part of a physics physics of or study of matter and the interactions between them help us to understand the laws and rules that govern physics world not every students will grow up and study physics on a deeper level but everyone uses basic physics concepts to navigate everyday life for example alarm clock that shows the sound physics gets involved in our daily life right from uh, we wake up in the morning 
the puzzing sound of an alarm helps you wake up in the morning as per our schedule the sound is something that we cannot see but here are we may experience physics studies the origin propagation and the properties of sound it works the concept of quantum mechanics and then next one is a stream ion right after we wake up in the morning and start preparing for ourselves um, we are uh, in, we are uh, um, went into the outside the part uh, either uh, uh, school or college or an office we should uh, need uh, iron the cloths that's where physics comes into play the steam iron is such a machine that uses a lot of physics to make it the foremost principle of physics is used the steam iron is heat heat is a thermodynamics is a type of energy and the transfer from a warmer substance to colder one ironing works by having a heated metal base the sole plate next to the friction that means walking when you get ready for our office or school or college whatever medium of communication is we certainly have to walk in a park or an, on a road we have a good grip without slipping because of a sort or resistance between the soles of our shoes and the chapel on the surface of the road this resistance which is responsible for the grip is called friction or traction however when a banana peel comes under the our foot suddenly we are fall now what makes uh, we fall well it's a due the reduced friction between our shoes or chapel the surface of the road because of the slippery banana peel it's happening in the part of friction then uh, the gravity it's a gravity present in that uh, ball pine pen whether we are uh, at our uh, workplace uh, a ball pine pen is our weapon is it had physics not been there we would not have able to write with a ball pine pen or paper in this case the what is say that the concept of gravity comes into the play as our pen moves across the paper the ball turns and the gravity forces the ink down on the top of the ball where it is transferred onto the paper the gravity it's a, a represent for the ball from the ball point pen the next one is a uh, what i say that uh, camera lens the phenomenon of a selfie has engulfed people of every age group we entertain ourselves by clicking photos the lens used in a camera works on the principle of optics the set of convex lenses provide the camera with an image outside the camera uh, like that type of manner so each and every part of a things adopted with a, such a part of a physical phenomena like thermodynamics and also so then uh, sound capacity each and every part of things include the uh, mobile phones batteries uh, that batteries also adopted in uh, cars uh, torches toys any other appliances batteries act as a saviors of electricity then cell phones have become a, like oxygen gas in modern social life uh, hardly anyone would have been untouched by the effects of the cell phone whether conveying a, a, an urgent message or uh, doing in, incessant gossips cell phones are everywhere so these cell phones uh, then um, batteries and the car seat belts everything happening with the help of the science one the study of natural phenomena electricity and the electromagnetism fluid mechanics thermodynamics and the heat transfer classical mechanics waves and their properties the next we are, we want to know the nature that means it may adapt with a botanical science it it is happening from the type of uh, part uh, what i say that uh, photosynthesis uh, in this type of a category um, um, from the sunlight uh, that sunlight absorbing the uh, oxygen it uh, stores uh, that that means the chlorophyll stores in the type of a plant it, this type of a process is called a photosynthesis 
it is also happening in the part of uh, science we know that uh, botany is the study of uh, plants like a botanist might study the classification of a uh, plants along with their scientific naming that means a systematic botany they could study the roles of various plants in ecosystems like how an invasive vine damages trees in a forest or a native flower provides a food to bees that means ecology with a botanical focus trees are practically the lungs of the earth using the energy of sunlight plants can convert carbon dioxide and the water into carbohydrates and oxygen in a process this process is called a photosynthesis the botany also divided into different type of aspect like plant pathology plant ecology paleo botany archaeo botany forensic botany also so this type of happening from oxygen that means uh, oxygen and the sunlight and some other things also we may be uh, prepared like that type of category <coughs> the plants it may provide food vegetable i mean food means that it consists with the uh, vegetables fruits and some other things we may prepare such a part of a wood with the help of a uh, trees only then uh, then another one a uh, most important aspect derived from that uh, plant it is uh, one of the most important part like a uh, medicine uh, for example tulsi turmeric amla aloe vera uh, each and every part of a uh, things happening from a plants only it may connect with the chemistry as a phytochemistry in a phytochemical aspect it may provide a much number of uh, medicine that is called a ayurveda medicine then we must know the chemistry uh, maximum of the portion occupying by chemistry only in the part of a science and the field of chemistry is of uh, great importance in our uh, day to day life uh, chemistry is uh, referred to as the science of matter the study of uh, properties and the composition of matter and their interactions uh, that's only the chemistry is uh, calling us a center of science uh, it connects with the queen of science and the king of science uh, the several branches of the things happening in the type of uh, uh, science uh, the chemistry is a branch of science uh, is concerned with the substance of which matter is composed the investigation of their properties and the reactions and the use of such reactions to form the substance importance of chemistry means that chemistry is important because everything we do is chemistry even our body is made of chemi chemical already i told that uh, our the body consists with the much number of elements the chemical reactions occur when we breathe we eat or just sit there reading all matter is made of chemicals you know that already told that um, the science divided into different type of aspect like physics um, mathematical science uh, botany zoology include in the part of a chemistry this chemistry connect with all those things that's only we want to uh, accompany it with the chemistry part chemistry plays a vital role in our uh, daily lives and it touch almost every aspect of our existence in some way it is an essential for meeting our basic needs uh, um, wearing cloth shelter health energy clean air water and soil also the part of life in the modern world the chemicals are it is used to clean disinfectant uh, disinfect uh, run machines uh, treat diseases and to fertilize so all these things not only here the multi number of uh, um, parts are uh, covering with the help of the chemicals everything is a chemical for example table salts like sodium chloride table sugar cloths that cloths consist with the wool cotton flour polyester our body consists with the lipids the proteins carbohydrates dna rna amino acids nucleic acids everything happening from chemicals then as just we, we must know that in the part of uh, chemistry Uh, that means uh, already told that a uh, food you were tried uh, think why a particular vegetable bears a particular color and the taste it has been founded that a sunlight sun sorry sunlight is a beam of white light and when it is impacts of uh, on an object uh, 
some of them get absorbed of a chemical compound while others are reflected back the vegetable that are green are due to presence of chemical compound named as a chromophores which absorbs all the wavelengths while reflecting the green light similarly the red color of tomato which is uh, used to uh, to judge its quality is a result of a chemical compound known as lycopene so here uh, we are seeing uh, the sky in uh, blue in nature what happening what what phenomena present in this type of uh, sky is blue an object is colored because of the light that it uh, reflects the white light from the sun contains all the wavelengths when it impacts on an object some of its wavelengths are absorbed or some reflected the blue color of the sky can be explained considering phenomena named rayleigh scattering that consists of the scattering of light by particles much smaller than its wavelength this effect is especially strong when light passes through gases <clears throat> meals are cooked faster in a pressure cooker what happening in this type of a category a pressure cooker more elaborated lid that seals the pot completely is it when we heat water it boils and the steam cannot escape so it remains inside and starts to build up the pressure under pressure cooking temperatures rise much higher than under normal conditions hence the food is cooked much faster this signifies the role of chemistry is our daily life the next one is uh, ice float on water ice is less dense than liquid water the heavier water displaces the lighter ice so ice floats on the top it is another one mechanism regarding the uh, chemistry uh, then uh, we must know in the part of uh, um, what i say that vegetables is colored already told that it's happening with the help of the chromophore many vegetables and fruits are strongly colored because they contain a special kind of chemical compound named carotenoids these compounds have an area called chromophore which absorbs and gives off particular wavelengths of light generating the color that we then then perceive this is where the importance of chemistry can be revealed then must know the coffee keeps us awake coffee keeps us awake because of the presence of a chemical compound that is called adenosine in our brain it binds to certain receptors and slows the no cells activity when sleep is signaled is it that's only we are uh, uh, taking a coffee frequently in the awakening time then uh, we must know the Uh, we are crying while cutting onions onions makes you uh, cry due to the presence of sulfur in the cells which break after onions are cut this sulfur gets mixed with our moisture and that irritates our eyes that's only we are crying uh, during the cutting of onions then chemistry of love the role of chemistry is at the bottom of every step in a relationship when we fall in love our brain suffers some changes and also certain chemical compounds are released love is driven by these hormones that that is called oxytocin vasopressin endorphins these all are uh, some more uh, chemical uh, compounds secrete and uh, during the type of a part in that particular part of a brain <coughs> then uh, role of chemistry in uh, society and industry the the much number of industry all the industries are completely depends on chemistry only many professions and uh, occupations need some knowledge of chemistry the application of theories in chemistry uh, produces a uh, new and better materials we are using several number of materials uh, it's happening with the help of chemistry only Uh, everyday experiences at homes and the community all are 
uh, are all explained by chemistry. Polymers are everywhere. Um, we are uh, taking uh, such a part of a material like adhesives, carpeting, cosmetics, fertilizer, plastics, fabrics, rubber, paints. It's an every part of a things happening through uh, the chemistry only. Uh, one amazing news. Uh, women put an average of 168 chemicals of their bodies every day. So the type of a cosmetics or manufacturing or preparing from chemical components only. Uh, you know, you know that the periodic table consists with the several number of elements. Uh, even every part of element consists with the multi number of applications. Just uh, we are seeing one, uh, one home, uh, the smart chemistry in everyday life. In our home, consists with a much number of materials, uh, particularly the household appliances. Then plastic flooring, plastic piping, uh, the insulation, that means wires, paints, wires and cables, then plywood, window adhesives, window molding, vinyl siding, plastic fencing. It's a minimum number of things, but each and every part of a thing is happening through chemistry only, so that uh, chemistry always uh, presenting as a very smart. Uh, we know that uh, the natural chemicals and the man-made chemicals, uh, the sucrose, also known as table sugar, uh, then citric acid found in uh, uh, lemons and uh, limes. Uh, you, we know well, um, very essential part in our life, uh, water. Water consists with uh, uh, oxygen and uh, hydrogen molecules. And then uh, amygdalin, it is found in apple seeds. Then uh, masimol, it is also found in uh, fly agaric uh, mushrooms. Then solanine, found in green potatoes. These all are chemical compounds. That means uh, it is uh, found in uh, uh, naturally. Uh, we know that uh, aspirin, uh, it is used as a pain relieving drug that is called antipyretic. Sodium thiopental, thiopental. then ethylene glycol. This is ethylene glycol used in antifreeze. And these type of uh, compounds are man-made chemicals, uh, particularly Teflon, polypropylene, glycerol, aspartame. Uh, aspartame. These type of things uh, are uh, derived from uh, uh, the synthetic nature. Why we should study chemistry in a class about the human body? Uh, I, I, now, until now, we are seeing uh, the importance of chemistry in a different type of uh, aspect. Then we must know in our body consists with several number of elements, several number of chemicals also. Our body functions depends on the cellular function. The cellular function result from chemical changes. Uh, even elements are made of chemically identical atoms. It is composed of elements like uh, bulk elements, trace elements, ultra trace elements also. Uh, you know that the bulk elements required by the body in the large amounts. Uh, trace uh, elements, it is required by the body in a small amount. Uh, you know that uh, elements in the human body, nearly 96% of the mass of human body is made up of uh, just four elements. One is oxygen, another one is a carbon, and another one is a hydrogen, then finally nitrogen, with a lot of that in the form of water. Then um, uh, macro and micronutrients perform various functions, including the building of bones the bones consist with a multi number of calcium and the cell structures are regulating the body's uh, ph level carrying charge and the driving chemical reactions uh, then fda has a set uh, reference daily intake of uh, 12 minerals uh, calcium iron phosphorus iodine magnesium zinc selenium copper manganese chromium molybdenum and chloride these all are uh, we are taking daily in our uh, body. The essential for humans it uh, shows uh, the purple color, and the green color shows uh, the suggested uh, to be essential for humans. The human body consists with a sixty two percentage of water and sixty percentage of uh, protein, and one percent carbohydrate, then six percent minerals and sixteen percent fat. 
that means the oxygen carbon hydrogen nitrogen and other things consist with a um, several number of uh, percentage there are 118 elements in the periodic table but which of them are essential for human life the zero in one and the ones we cannot live without and the roles they play without oxygen without carbon without hydrogen without nitrogen we are not able to any part of the things the major classes of uh, compounds in the human body uh, that means uh, water fat protein minerals and the carbon Water is the most abundant chemical compound in living human cells, accounting for about 65% to 90% of each cell. It's also present between cells. For example, blood and uh, cerebrospinal fluid are mostly water content part. Fat, the percentage of fat varies from person to person, but even an obese person has more water than fat. Protein in a lean man, the percentage of protein and water are comparable. It's about a 16% by mass. Muscles, including the heart, contain a lot of muscle. Hair and the fingernails are protein. Skin contains a large number of protein too. Minerals, it's account for about 6% of the body. They include salts and the metals. Common minerals like... Uh, uh, sodium, chlorine, calcium, potassium, and iron also. You know that we are taking a food at a much number of carbohydrates are present in that particular part of our food. Uh, although humans uh, use the sugar glucose as an energy sucrose, sorry, energy source, there is not that much fit free in the blood stream at any given time. Sugar and other carbohydrates only account for about one percentage of body mass. Uh, water in the human body uh, in our brain consists with a 75 percentage of water blood consists with a 83 percentage of water heart bones muscles liver kidneys so water is a essential part in our human body also we know that uh, we must know uh, the nature of brain what is a chemical imbalance in the brain a chemical imbalance in the brain is said to occur when there is either too much are too little of certain chemicals called neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are neutral chemicals that help facilitate the communication between our nerve cells. Chemical imbalance theory means that difference, depression and anxiety are caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain. So it is a, looks as a in the human body and uh, these, I mean, each and every part of actions happening through signs only. What are the symptoms, symptoms of a chemical imbalance in the brain? The chemicals in the brain play in depression and anxiety. Lower than normal levels of uh, neurotransmitters can lead to symptoms such as uh, feelings of sadness, helpless, helplessness, worthlessness or em em emptiness. So you know that this type of uh, feelings are happening and the normal level of neurotransmitters are decreased. Over, overeating or loss of appetite, uh, insomnia or sleeping too much, restlessness, irritability, lack of energy, distancing yourself from others, feeling numbness or lacking empathy, extreme mood swings, thoughts of hurting yourself or others this type of a feelings happening from brain it's a con it controlling by uh, that neurotransmitters that's only i told that the neurotransmitters are natural chemicals that help facilitate communication between our uh, nerve cells five ways to boost our uh, natural happy chemicals one is said uh, dopamine serotonin oxytocin endomorphin endorphin Cortisol. Dopamine is embrace a new goal. That means approaching a reward triggers dopamine. It's located in our uh, brain. You know that. And then um, uh, serot serotonin. Uh, believe in yourself. Confidence uh, triggers serotonin. And uh, ox oxytocin is uh, trust triggers oxytocin. Endorphin 
um, pain causes endorphin. Cort cort cortisol uh, survey and thrive. That means uh, building new happy habits. These all are happening from this type of uh, chemicals. You know that there are four major chemicals in the brain that influence our happiness. That is called the dose. Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and the endorphin. Then pH of liquids, the pH stands for a potential of hydrogen, a number value that expresses uh, either acidity nature or alkalinity nature of a solution. Uh, the 7 is a neutral, this is uh, uh, the intermediate part. Lower values are more acid, higher values are more base. Normal rain, you know that has particularly about a pH of 5.6, slightly acidic because of the carbon dioxide picked up in the earth's atmosphere by, by the rain that's only the you know, what i say that normal rain uh, consists with a uh, 5.6 of a ph level why because of it's showing us a slightly acidic nature then it is interesting to note that ph range of seawater is normally 7.4 to 8.2 while in blood it's a 7.35 to 7.45 the body keeps this is in a very tight range. Uh, some of the um, things are happening in the part of a pH level. The lemon is a very acidic nature, apple, banana, and then water is a new, neutral. Then consists with the baking soda, soap, drain cleaner, and then ammonia. These all are uh, located in the alkali nature. Then hydrochloric acid, vinegar, tomato, these all are uh, suppressed in the part of acid, acidic nature. Then blood pH, we must know our blood. Normal blood pH is a 7.35 to 7.45. The alkalysis occurs when blood pH rises to 7.5 to 7.8. Acidosis occurs when blood pH drops to 7.0 to 7.3. Uh, so in this type of a category, the blood uh, present in the part of a basic niche. pH below 7.35, some of the symptoms of acidosis pH above uh, in the part of 7.45, the symptoms of alkalysis. Central nervous system, it consists with the headache, sleepiness, confusion, loss of consciousness, uh, coma. These all are uh, uh, below the 7.35 ranges. That means in the blood respiratory system also, shortness of a breath and coughing nature. Heart, this uh, arrhythmia, increased heart rate, muscular system, digestive system also, uh, uh, disturbing in the part of uh, acidosis. Then alkalosis also. Alkalosis is uh, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, muscular system and the digestive system. We must know that we are studying in our um, school level uh, regarding the pH. The pH acting as a major role in our human body. It's also happening through science only. Uh, some more inorganic and organic chemicals uh, um, present in our body. There are two kinds of chemicals make up the human body. One is the inorganic and another one is the organic part. Although there are some ex exceptions, inorganic chemicals are primarily molecules that are made up of one or two elements that are not carbon. Water, oxygen are examples of inorganic chemicals that are important for human body to function as our iron, calcium, sodium also. One exemption is carbon dioxide, even though this contains a gas that the body cannot use and must be expelled from the lungs. Already we have uh, studied like this type of a part in uh, last year uh, in, the, in the category of uh, National Science Day. Tears, uh, tears are a clear liquid secreted by the lacrimal glands. That means a tear gland found in the eyes of uh, all land mammals. There are three types of uh, tears basal tear, emotional tear, and the reflexed tears also occur as a part of the body's natural pain response. Humans are the only mammals known to produce tears as part emotional response, such out of joy or grief. Tears are made up of water, electrolytes, proteins, lipids, and mucins that form layers on the surface of Chemical composition of a tear drop. What are tears made up of? Uh, aqueous layer, oily layer, and a mucous layer. 
in the mucus layer helps tear stay on the eye oily layer prevents the tear from evaporating aqueous layer carries vitamin salt and other minerals to the cornea are happy tears or sad tears chemically different tears yes, of course both tears of grief and joy are psychic tears triggered by extreme emotions whether positive or negative kind reflex tears are secreted in a response to an irritant like a dust onion vapors or tear gas are sad tears saltier yes the your tears are salty because they contain natural salts like uh, electrolytes aging and your eyes what happens to your body when you are cry it releases toxin it may relieve the stress we are crying but it may provide such a wonderful uh, thing in our body it releases the toxin through the tear and it relieve the stress also when humans cry in the response to stress their tears contain a number of stress hormones and other chemicals crying could reduce the level of these chemicals in the body uh, which could in turn reduce stress what a amazing part we are tearing but it may reduce the stress it may release the toxin also what amazing then another one most important amazing uh, present in our body uh, that is called the hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid is is a very strongest one but it is uh, located in our bottom of the stomach it help our body to break down and the digest and absorb the nutrients such as the protein is it it's a major role playing in our stomach it is also eliminates bacteria and the viruses in the stomach protecting our body from the infection and the low levels of hydrochloric acid can have a profound impact on the body's ability to properly digest and absorb nutrients there are three phases in the section of secretion of gastric acid one is a cephalic phase gastric phase and the intestine, intestinal phase 30 percentage of uh, total gastric acid to be produced in stimulated by anticipation of eating and the smell or taste of food it is uh, happening from that uh, cephalic phase the gastric phase 60 percent of the acid secreted is stimulated by the distension dist distension of the stomach with food plus digestion produces proteins which causes even more gastric production the remaining 10% of uh, acid is secreted when chyme enters the small intestine and is stimulated by small intestine dist distension uh, then uh, um, it consists with that means all the types of uh, tears contain salts water and varying amount of antibodies and the proteins different tears have different properties already we have discussed these type of a tears like uh, basal tears reflective tears and uh, emotional tears then another most important part in our uh, human body uh, number of uh, fruits number of plants consist with the several number of uh, uh, elements it may um, provide uh, much number of energy much, much number of strength to our human body it's happening with the help of those chemical compounds why because of uh, the lentils uh, spinach uh, figs uh, quinoa then pumpkin seeds almonds Swiss, each and every part of the things consist with the, the the huge number of zinc metallet the 13 rich foods of zinc the chromium rich foods uh, romaine lutes uh, oats black pepper barley tomatoes broccoli this all are consist with a huge number of uh, chromium and the fluorine so these type of elements are uh, much essential uh, to our human body the molybdenum rich foods the trace minerals have vital roles in the body you know that antioxidant activity uh, it consists with the selenium zinc copper manganese record for enzyme function happening from copper ion zinc molybdenum manganese and selenium 
uh, the growth and the wound healing it's happening through zinc and the manganese bone health it consists with the copper and the manganese component of thyroid hormones happening from iodine so that the minerals and the elements um, functioning uh, much wonder in our human body a study of chemistry until now but it in this time is uh, not enough to cover all those type of uh, things uh, regarding the science why because of science is a uh, very biggest part uh, throughout the world it consists with the several number of disciplines then particularly we are uh, seeing the chemistry physics and uh, some other things just a few things only but uh, we are facing several number of uh, things uh, from chemistry only that's only i am focusing in the part of a uh, chemistry chemistry is everywhere matter is everywhere that's a uh, chemistry matters chemistry involves the study of matter and uh, its uh, properties uh, some are uh, happening from the chemistry chemist may specialize in research forensic investigation medical research design and development health and medical marketing education this type of uh, things are happening from chemist so that's only the chemistry is a central science it connects all those things like biology biochemistry geochemistry geology uh, paleontology chemical physics physics nuclear chemistry astrophysics astronomy material science all the type of uh, sciences all the type of different disciplines are connected with the chemistry that's only the chemistry is called central science you know that here also biochemistry pharmacology toxicology physiology it's in every part of things are derived from a science but the major part of a science major component of a science occupying by chemistry so really we are proud to say as a chemist thank you very much for your patient listen hello madam hello hello madam any questions uh, very good note to all i am dr s srinivasan assistant professor department of chemistry it is my pleasure to deliver a word of thanks in this wonderful session i express my deep sense of gratitude to the management for permitting to conduct this wonderful webinar i would like to thank our chief guest me assistant professor ja jamal muhammad kalit tirchapalli for hill for his willing acceptance and enlightening has with his knowledge thank you sir i would like to i would like to thank our beloved principal dr hen sujatha ma'am for her constant support and encouragement i am happy to express thanks to all to our colleagues for their support to proceed this program in successful manner i once again thank everyone for making this program successful and their cooperation thank you have a nice day thank you sir thank you very much sir thank you thank you very much ma'am for having provided such an opportunity thank you